I hate feeling like my wig is gonna come off. Like that is not fun to me at all. I need security in this relationship with my wig, okay? babes my name is Winnie Jean today I'm gonna to show you guys how I got this super cute mini twist look this is a 20 inch wig from hairspells.com yes I said a wig I know you probably don't believe me but it is laid and I love it if you want to see how I installed this wig then go ahead and keep watching and if you want to go straight to this wig then the details to it are down below with a coupon code so make sure to go and check it out I love you guys keep watching Okay, so we're gonna get right into the hair. The wig is a 22 inch small twist wig and it's by hairspells.com. I'm really excited to try it because it's only $87.50, so it's like $90. Um, and that's a really, really good price for a braided wig because it takes a lot of work to put together. I know, because I make them. So I'm really excited because I love having like braided wigs or faux lock wigs, just like different styles that I can pop on and pop off. And this one is really really inexpensive and <clears throat> so far it's super pretty this is the cap construction and all the details and everything for this wig and the store will be down in the description bar so this is the cap it's sewn here and then there is like a one inch lace and then like a two inch lace in the middle with adjustable straps in the back and these are some really good quality adjustable straps i really like that okay cool so the construction of the wig is really really nice what i will say is that you won't be able to wear like a super deep part or a deep side part so how i'm probably going to wear it is kind of like flipped over and then another thing that I look for on the you know cheaper side of lace wigs is the quality of the lace and the quality of the lace on this unit is amazing now what I will say is that the, the knots aren't bleached um, so I'm gonna just throw a little bit of foundation on to kind of give them that bleached look since this is a synthetic unit and I won't be able to actually bleach the knots on it but it looks so nice and I love how there's a bit of loose hair on the ends it looks really pretty I'm about to go somewhere so I don't have time to like really style this up it's gonna be more of like a first impression straight out of the box type of thing but I would love to like braid these ends and dip them and see what they look like then so let me get my foundation so I can go ahead and put a little bit on the roots so we can be looking real natural give me one second <laughs> so I have some foundation with a brush and just tap in there and work this into the roots of the wig like this i hope you guys can see okay so now the inside is looking like this and the roots look a bit more natural and i'm about to try to pop this on because like i said i got somewhere to be okay i'm not gonna slick all of my baby hairs back just yet because i might need those to make this wig you know work out so I'm taking my shears and I'm just going to start to trim the lace off of this unit. And you want to be very careful to not trim the hair, but you want to get as close as possible. So I'm just going to kind of place it and then see what we're working with. <laughs> I love the style. Yeah, so for this unit, I'm probably going to put it behind the hairline. Cause there's no baby hairs on it and I love baby hair. Y'all know I love baby hair. So yeah, I'm gonna put it behind the hairline. But so far, so cute. So far, so cute. We just need some baby hairs. I'm gonna clip some of the twists back. And with my little edge comb, I'm gonna pull my edges out, but I'm probably gonna pull out, you know, a little bit more than normal. Cause we want to, you know, use these edges to make the wig look natural. And I'm very particular about my wigs. <laughs> so when I do edges out, I do it a very particular way and I'm about to show you guys. So as you see, I'm really pulling out like the edges. I'm not just pulling out the baby hair. So now I'm just gonna play with the placement of the wig and see where I want it to sit. Now I'm gonna have to trim off one of the braids to make it fit my head a bit better. It's like overlapping my ear. So I'm gonna just trim this braid 
or twists, whatever. Okay, and now it's laying flush, as you can see. So this side I've already trimmed, and then this side I haven't trimmed yet, and you can see it's kind of like looking crazy. Okay, so now that everything is fitted, I'm gonna just go. Oh my God, that scared me. Lord. Sorry if I'm looking down, but my mirror is down here. I can't get the combs to go through my wig cap, so I'm gonna have to just hope and pray that my wig don't come off. <laughs> I'm too old to be fighting, so Lord knows there shouldn't be no reason why this unit comes off. But let me make sure it's super tight, cause. Okay, so now I'm about to attach the wig and I have everything all customized. My baby hair is out, so. I'm gonna tighten up the adjustable straps because I'm not gonna use the clip. So to make sure that they're super tight, I'm gonna crisscross them. So I'm gonna take this adjustable strap and put it all the way on this side and then take this adjustable strap and put it all the way on this side. And as you can see, there's kind of like tightening up there and that'll keep it nice and snug on my head because I'm not gonna put this, the um, clips through my wig cap. Awesome. So this is how it's laying and now I'm going to just slide it back a bit. Then I'm going in with the got to be glued, not glued. Then I'm going in with the got to be glued blasting freeze spray. I always call it the freeze blast spray, but apparently it's not. <laughs> and I'm just going to give my wig cap a light spritz and that should just keep my actual wig cap in place. Now with the Got To Be Glue Styling Spiking Glue, the yellow one, a little dollop of that, I'm gonna put that right where my hair and the wig cap meet. And I'm putting a nice spicy little layer cause I want this wig to last throughout the day with no problem. I hate feeling like my wig is gonna come off. Like that is not fun to me at all. I need security in this relationship with my wig okay now what i will say so far i'm super impressed with the construction of the wig i was nervous that it was gonna be like really cheap beauty supply store lace or that it was going to i don't know just be not well made but this honestly is a very well constructed wig and on top of that, I love the way that the adjustable straps are. Like I really, really like the way that their adjustable straps are. <laughs> and the density on the wig isn't too thick, but I'm excited to see what it looks like after I style it. Now with a little bit more got to be glued gel, I'm about to lay down my baby hairs for filth, but <clears throat> I'm making sure to swoop them back into the wig. And I'll show you how I do it. And what that does is kind of blend your hair and your natural hairline with the hairline of the wig and it makes it look seamless. I'm just taking my baby hair and brushing them into the wig. Like so. And I'm not doing like super big baby hairs, just, you know, something soft kind of. Cause I find when you do like super dramatic baby hair, it just kind of brings more attention to the fact that this isn't your hair. You want it to just be very soft, very wet wig, whatever do you mean, you know? Like when I wear wigs, I like for people to say they like my hair, not that they like my wig. If somebody tells me that they, that they like my wig, I, I did something wrong. I went wrong somewhere. Now these are a little too not dramatic, so I'm about to throw a few swoops and swirls in here real quick. And I love when you get like a little curl that comes off your baby hair like this one. And bring a tear to my eyes, y'all. I quit, that's gonna have to do. Now with my got to be flat, um, you know, with this spray, I'm just gonna go in and spray throughout the hairline. And now I'm gonna just take my scarf and let it sit. You know how I do, I let my hair cook. Putting your scarf on for a hairstyle is like literally like baking. It's like baking for makeup. If you don't put your scarf on, it's not gonna last. Your baby hair is like gonna curl up with a vengeance. 
I didn't grab one of these twists. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? I'm just gonna tie this down and I make sure to tie it down behind my ears so that it can lay flush with my wig and make sure that you know my ear flaps are flat. You might get a headache, but it's gonna be so worth it. Okay, so while that part of my edges is drying, I'm gonna do my little sideburn pieces with just a little bit more gel and I'm gonna just give them a little swoopy swoop. I don't like for them to just be feeling neglected. And this makes any braided style look more natural to me. Okay, I'm just gonna let my hair sit for about 10 to 20 minutes while I try to figure out what I'm gonna wear. I might even film a try-on haul. So check out for that video. If I posted it already, I'll leave a link here. I will be right back. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes. Maybe 20 or 30 minutes, honestly. I filmed a whole other video. And this is how it came out. It is pretty laid, if I do say so myself. I love the length on this wig. It hits me like waist length. Okay, so I like them slicked over to this side. This looks really pretty to me. So to set it off, I have a few accessories here that I wanted to put in my hair. I'm wearing silver jewelry today, so I figured I would go for silver accessories in my braids. And I really want to like accessorize, accessorize them. So I'm going to put all of these in here. I have like one, two, three, four, five, six shells, five hoops. And then I'm probably going to put like two or three of the, um, what do you call them? The um, wraps. Okay, so this is the final look. I put a whole bunch of accessories in it and I'm low-key obsessed. I think it looks really, really cute. I'm not even mad about the part. I feel like it looks really pretty put to the side and I tried to do like a half up, half down and that looks cute too, like a little messy one, a little like, you know, 90s, zhuzh, and it's super, super cute. Um, the wig is not heavy at all and honestly for $90 you could not beat this with a bat literally like it's really pretty the lace is quality it is laid now <clears throat> like I said you cannot get a part with this but if you just want like like the style if you want to just rock the style with, like an outfit that you feel like it would look really cute with this wig would definitely go good with any wig collection she she definitely could find a place in my wig collection i can't stop playing with it okay <laughs> but yeah i really really like it again go ahead and head to hairspells.com i'll put the information down in the description bar where you can find this wig she is a 90 dollar holla and it is so so cute I'll give y'all a little profile let y'all see what's she looking like this is her I got her like swung over to the side. A cute little like side braid or a side twist would be super cute with this. Throw some flowers in it, giving like boho vibes. It's super pretty, I love it. Yeah, I was a little bit nervous. When I saw the price, I was like, I don't know, I don't trust it. But I really wanted like this micro braid, micro twist look cause I was super inspired by um, Alyssa Ashley. I love her hair. But I can't sit for that long. So this is giving me the vibes. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.